Want to improve your photography without buying any new gear or paying for online courses? We'll take a shot together. Here we go. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mark Horner, Beyond 90 Seconds. Today, a simple tip that can really help take your photography to the next level. We're talking about still photography and videography. This one tip might seem like a simple thing, but I've been shooting for 30 years, and let me tell you, this tip can help produce great results. I'm talking about simply giving yourself permission permission to step out of your habit or comfort zone of grabbing the camera and simply going, ready, aim, shoot. Instead, ask yourself, how can I shoot that shot from a more creative angle, perspective, or proximity? Maybe standing on a bench, a rock, or even up on a log can help provide more insight into that moment you're trying to capture. If the subject is a small child, don't simply point down and shoot, kneel down to eye level, or Maybe sit crisscross applesauce. I was inspired to make this video after re-watching one I uploaded to YouTube a few years ago. Test footage with an iPhone using the Filmic Pro app. I simply took a walk through a thin band of woods near my home. I didn't even use a gimbal. I just simply took this tiny tripod, attached a smartphone mount to it, and carefully tried to hold smooth shots as I slowly moved the camera. A couple of times, I set the tripod down on the ground here to shoot the slug, and on top of this surface to shoot the wide shot at twilight. I really didn't think this iPhone test video would get much interest, but it racked up a few thousand views, and people left comments like very intriguing perspectives and simple things can become great things. Bingo, I couldn't have said it better myself. Simple things really can become great things. So right there, you see, I didn't go out and have to spend 100, 200, 300 bucks on a gimbal or a larger tripod. I simply gave myself permission to venture out and take a minimalistic approach and walk through the woods like this. And you know what? I had fun. I gave myself permission to go out, hunt down those shots, bring them all home, stir them all together in a broth, and see how it all turned out in the final edit. And if you'd like to see that iPhone test video, you can check out the link in the description below. Let's look at some still photography now. Here are some pictures of my daughter at the beach. My favorite shots? The ones I took through a hollowed out piece of driftwood, the subject and environment framed within the environment. Here's another day at the beach where I actually did lay flat out on the sand. And we'll get wet, it's okay. I could have used a small tripod or a rock as my tripod, but I couldn't resist getting right up against the edge of those incoming waves, hand holding these shots with my DSLR. Okay, right my and while taking water. these pictures, I was also live streaming with my iPhone on Periscope at the same time, sharing the experience. The trick is to keep the salt water off the lens and still get it when it's in the air. Oh, that was a good one, but I missed it. Ah! <laughs> a bit of spray and sand on the gear that day, but nothing damaging. You may not want to get this close to the water with your gear, and I'm not saying that you should take the same risks and push the limits. Certainly not like the time I anchored my iPhone down at the bottom of a river. To get this video of wild salmon returning to spawn. That decision ultimately destroyed my iPhone, but huge props to Apple for replacing it for free. Anyhow, getting back on track, the point here is that there really is something simple that you can do to further enhance your repertoire of photographic techniques, your skill set, and that is to simply give yourself permission. Give yourself permission to try different angles, different points of view, and give yourself permission not to worry about what other people think as you stand up, suddenly covered in sand from head to toe. Just giving yourself permission to go for it, get more creative, can help your shots stand out, or maybe help reveal something that you didn't expect, or tell the story in a deeper way that you captured in that moment. So what do you think? Do you think this idea of giving yourself permission is helpful? I'd love to read your comments below. And maybe you're a seasoned photographer and you know this stuff, but did you by chance find this uh, as a gentle reminder to get back out in the field and come up with some new creative ways, maybe feeling re-inspired. Did you like this video? Maybe you didn't. Please feel free to give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And if you really like it, please subscribe. 
While I've actually done many videos over the years involving photography, this is actually the first video where I'm providing a tip. So it will be really interesting to monitor the feedback, the thumbs up, the thumbs down, the new subscriptions, uh, to help get a gauge on how welcome this content might be here. And I'd also like to begin taking a moment to recognize the people who have been supporting this channel all along. And today, I'd like to recognize Osprey Mama. On her channel, she's got some great video of a couple of hawks taking a bath. It's a lot of fun to watch. So again, if you like this type of content here, please do feel free to subscribe. And if you do so, don't forget to click that bell right next to the subscribe button so that you can get notified whenever I have a new upload or I'm live streaming. Thanks for watching.